What is up everyone? So today we're gonna take a look at a guitar that I've been owning for a long time and it's uh, my good old Ibanez RGA8. So what have we got here? This is an Indonesian made RGA8 and that's the full name. It's not like RGA872 FM BK something. And these were produced between 2010 and 2013. I bought this used from my bandmate who also bought it used and the first owner put these uh, Seymour Duncan Blackout pickups in it, which are active pickups, as you may know, and uh, these are really great. They can sound muddy at times, but it really depends on what you're using, I mean, amp-wise. Otherwise, you get very, very crisp, clean tones, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. I think it used to have an EQ switch, which was here. Now it, there's only a single volume knob, and here's just a little plastic piece hiding the hole. I think the bridge used to be broken when he bought it, uh, but that was fixed by a local shop. And speaking of that bridge, I think that's the most outstanding feature on this guitar. I mean, just look at the thing, it's it's massive and you got a locking nut. So uh, if you don't know the guitar, you think it's like an 8-string with a tremolo, but it's not. It's a fixed bridge with a locking nut and that really helps to give this guitar extreme tuning stability. And we got the maple walnut wizard neck which has titanium reinforcement and this is not a prestige this is a regular Indonesian made RGA which is impressive the fretboard is rosewood which uh, looks pretty dark and that's because um, Eleuthia darkened it with some uh, special color I don't know the exact procedure but I thought that the overall look had to be just black 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 you know and that makes it look really sharp I think the frets are pretty worn, but I mean, I, I've played this guitar a lot and uh, I've had it for several years now. It's been used on two records, it's been used on so, so many gigs. I really have a special connection to it because I've been using it for such a long time. And I've used it for our last EP, the Anachronism EP, which you can check out uh, on this channel. What else do I need to mention? Yeah, I mean, aesthetically, there's no big damage. Uh, it's been used a lot, but I don't know, I take care of my instruments and it has a lot of superficial scratches, but uh, there's no, as far as I remember, there's nothing which uh, went really into the wood and there's like a little chip in the neck, but uh, you know, it's an old guitar, it's an old lady. Oh, it's a mahogany body, by the way. This guitar is, I mean, I don't know how it looks on camera, but it's super massive. It has a 27 inch scale and the headstock, I mean, I have big hands, but just look at that headstock. It's like, yeah, it's bigger than my hand, but it, it's not that heavy, actually. Of course, it's an eight string, it has some weight, also because of the mahogany body, but I've played full shows with it and uh, yeah, it works. The playing comfort on this guitar is outstanding. It just plays like butter. I remember when I first saw this guitar, I wasn't into 8 strings. I think I wasn't even playing 7 string uh, at that time. I took this and I was like, 
this, this. I mean, the neck felt monstrous. But today, I think just the feeling of having this neck in your hand and uh, playing the low F sharp, really, it's, it's a really satisfying feeling. Yeah, I think that's already pretty much it. So now we're gonna just take a listen to what this sounds like. <laughs> Okay, as always, thank you very much for watching this video guys. If you're new to my channel, please browse through my other videos and subscribe. And that's it for today. I will see you next time. Take care.